Okay, this video will be helps and hints for lesson number 12 on keyboard input on uh, code.org. Part one of the lesson is an overview. The key down code block is the big thing of this, but you're going to use it in different ways. So we'll go on with, uh, ask, ask, go past part one. Now on part two, you're going to have to make a prediction. There is a box for you to make a prediction, and you can't even run the code until you make a prediction about what you think will happen uh, when the code is run. So you got to type something in the box before you can run it. But here's the deal. I'll uh, Spoiler alert. Um, if you run the code, you'll notice that if you press the space bar down, uh, that the key down c code block that is in the in the code there returns a function of true or c returns a value of true. If I'm hold I'm holding the space bar down right now. If I let go of the space bar, it says false. Hold it down, true. Let it go, false. So that's what that key down c thing does, and it checks to see if the key. Uh, you can do it with any key, but in this case, we're doing the space bar. If it's pressed down, if the key is down, it sends back a value of true. And if it, the key is released, uh, it sends back a value of false. Comes in really handy when you're programming. Moving on. All right, uh, on this one, if you run the code and you tap the letter P, it puts on a pig. If you tap the letter H, it puts on a hippo. It's checking to see if the P and the H have been pressed. And you can see right here, pointing to it right now you can kind of see how they did that if the key down if the H key has been pressed if the H key has been pushed down then set the animation to be a hippo if the P key has been pushed down set the animation to be a pig here's your task on this one uh, if if what if the key that has been pressed is an R well let's hop over here to the animation tab and see what they've got loaded up here hmm what do you know I see a rabbit all right, I think this makes this pretty easy. I follow the pattern that they have here with this set animation block. I'll go get one of those out of the sprites drawer, and I'll say if we press an, uh, the letter R, let's make it a rabbit. I run the code, and if I tap the letter R on the keyboard, it makes it a rabbit. So H makes it a hippo, P makes it a pig, R makes it a rabbit. There we go. Finish. <laughs> Moving on. Love the little dot ta das. Uh, all right, on part number four, now we get into adding an if command uh, along with that key press down thing. All right, so here's what we've got going on. There's a, there's a ladybug. And we want to set it up so that if the right arrow has been pressed, the ladybug moves to the right. Oh, okay. Well, so um, that's going to be an if thing. So I'm going to control. I'm going to bring over and I'm going to show you a little bit about this and, you know, it could help. Um, and then that key down is in the world drawer. It's yellow. It's kind of color coded here. So I'll bring key down. If key down and uh, it, it, we're going to do right arrow. So I'll switch this to right. All right. So if the, if the right arrow has been pressed, we want to move the ladybug. Well, that moving thing, remember that's, that's counter pattern stuff. We've been doing that for a while. I'm going to bring over a sprite.x. I'm going to go get a math block. I'll bring over a plus. I'll go back to sprites. I'll bring over a sprite.x. And this is going to be called bug because that's the label that they have in the in the code there. So it's going to be bug.x equals bug.x plus something. Right, you can add whatever you want. I'll just add three. So now that that whole idea of the bug moving becomes conditional on the arrow being pressed, and it has to be the right arrow. Let's reset this and run it. If I press the right arrow, the bug moves. And you can't see me press the right arrow, but trust me, I am. I press the right arrow, I let it go. Press it, let it go. Press it, let it go, and it's moving the bug. And it becomes conditional, right? It, the bug only moves if I press the right arrow. This is game control kind of stuff that we're we're looking at here. All right, so if the right arrow went down, we move the bug. Let's go on. Part number five. Um, this is going to get into the the fish are back, right? Uh, you've seen these in another lesson, but what we're going to do is just make it conditional. So watch here. We'll go and and I'm I'm just going to do this. I'm going to bring over an if block here. And then I'm going, I'll just move all of this, this stuff that moves the fish, I'll just put it all in the if block. And what we're going to do, and it says this up in the directions here, let's check to see if the left arrow has been pressed down. All right, well, that's 
key down, right? That's from the world drawer. And it's left arrow, so I'll set that on left. And so now this, all of this fish moving becomes conditional on the left arrow being pressed. I'll reset it and run it. The fish aren't moving. But if I press the left arrow, they do. But if I let go of the left arrow, they don't. Press the left arrow and they move. Let go of the left arrow and they don't move. It's conditional. For them to move, the left arrow has to be pressed down, and that's what this is all about. Really, all I did was move the code inside and set up the key down condition right there. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right, part number six. Uh, again, the gears are back. You may have, you may remember the gears from other from other lessons that we've done where the gears rotate. Well, this is a very similar thing to the fish. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it conditional, and we'll just check to see. Uh, let's go space bar, right? I'll, I'll bring over the if block and I'll drop it in here. And all of these rotation things, these rotation counter patterns, I'm going to take them and put them inside the if block. I want the rotation of the gears to be conditional. All right, and what am I gonna what am I gonna check? If what? Well, it's gonna be if the a key down is if a key is pressed, and I'm gonna set it to be spacebar. I guess you could set it to be whatever, but I'm gonna set it to be spacebar. All right, so when I run that, the gears don't turn unless I hold the spacebar. If I press the spacebar and hold it down, they turn. If I let go of the spacebar, they don't turn anymore. So this is checking, is the space bar down? Is that true or false? If it's true, the gears turn. If it's false, they don't turn. All right, and that's what we're trying to get at here is this whole idea of how that works. It's a, a seriously big game building kind of thing. All right, now, this is where um, we're gonna work on moving, moving the, the, the ladybug in all directions. Remember the ladybug we did a minute ago where if you hit the right arrow it goes to the right? Well, all right, so what if like if we hit the left arrow we want it to go to the left? If we hit the up arrow we want it to go up. If we hit the down arrow we want it to go down. All right, well, I mean it, it's we, we already did one of them. So so let's take a look here. I'll just pull over an if block and you could probably copy and paste some stuff here, but this is really kind of not hard stuff. Um, I'm going to say uh, let's let's, check, let's do one from the left arrow, and I could I could I bet I could copy this um, bug equal bug bug dot x equal bug dot x and paste it in here, and just switch that to a, does this make sense? Switch that to a negative three. If I wanted to go to the left, I want it to move. It's going to be I'm going to add a negative three. Let's check my right and my left arrow. All right, I run the program. I hit the right arrow, moves to the right. Hit the left arrow, it moves to the left. Perfect. Yay. Going to finish. Uh, actually, you know what? I wasn't done with that. I'm not done with that. I got to do up and down. So I'll go back to control here real quick, and I'm going to do if key down is the up arrow. Well, all right. So I'll just go ahead and build this real quick. It's not gonna, it's, this is going to be a dot Y kind of thing. It's, if I'm going up and down, it's a Y axis thing. All right, so I'm just going to bring over. I got a sprite dot y, and I got a math, and I'm going to bring over another sprite dot y, and that's going to be a bug dot y, and that's going to be a bug dot y, and that's because the label of the sprite is bug up here, and um, then uh, let's see, we're going up, so that's going to be a negative number, right? I'll do minus three, right there. I'll run that just real quick to check it. I can go left and right, and I can go up. Okay, now all I got to do is down, and I'm just going to take this whole if block right here and copy Control C, make sure my cursor's down below there, and do Control V to paste, and um, we're going to switch this to a down arrow. And if I'm going down, I want to that want that to be a positive number. Let's run that to the right, to the left, up, down. I'm hitting the arrow keys on the keyboard, and look, they're working. Up, down, right, left, and folks, this is such basic, this is gameplay stuff. You control a player, you move an object around with up, down, right, left, or a lot of times it's W, A, S, D. Um, yeah, it's working. That's what we're shooting for. All right, so I am going to hit finish now. I hit finish too soon a minute ago. Uh, part number eight gets into the idea of editing images. And I'm going to show you, that's what part number nine is going to be, so I'm going to just kind of show you that. So I'll go ahead and hit continue. 
And this is going to bring back my code that I wrote with the ladybug, right, left, up, down. But now the, the idea is this. Let's make it so that if I'm going to the right, he's facing to the right. If I'm going to the left, he's facing to the left. If I'm going up, he's facing up. If I'm going down, he's facing down. That's all going to have to kind of happen in the animation tab. And I'm using the ladybug here. Uh, so, so here's what I have to do. All right. Watch. This is the one that's facing to the right. And I could even do this. I could even like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Why not? I'm going to put a capital R at the end of Ladybug Right. And then I'm going to duplicate it. on the, This button right here, I'm pointing to it right now on, on your animation. I'm going to duplicate that Ladybug. It says copy one, but this is going to be a Ladybug. When I get done with it, it's going to be a Ladybug Left. So I'm going to put a capital L right there. Now, what i got to do over here is there's a button on, on the uh, right side of the uh, editing panel here that is flip. It'll flip it. All right, so I just click that flip button, and now that ladybug is pointing to the left. Cool. I'm going to duplicate that one, and on this one, and this is going to be my ladybug up. All right, so I might even just put the word up, ladybug up, right there. And so what I'm going to do is rotate it. There's a button over here for rotating it, and I want to rotate it until I get it there. I got it pointed up. There we go. That'll work. And now I'm going to duplicate that. I want, I'm going to have to have four ladybugs, right? Uh, a right, a left, an up, and a down. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to get in here, and I want to change the label of it. And uh, I'm going to just, I could just put the letter D, or I'll put ladybug down on that one. That'll work. And i got to rotate it. Use that rotate button. Click it as many times as you need to, and now it's pointed down. So that over here on the animation tab, I wind up with a ladybug right, a ladybug left, a ladybug up, and a ladybug down. I'll go back to code. All right, now to begin with, I'm going to set my ladybug at ladybug right at the very beginning. And now here we go. If the, if the, if the key that gets pressed is the right arrow, I'm just going to bring over a sprite, a set animation block, and I want to make sure that the bug animation is set to be the the ladybug right. If the if the right arrow gets pressed, if the left arrow gets pressed, all right, this is an if, so I'm putting it right. Look what I'm doing. I'm putting it right in that same thing, and I'm going to say, all right, the bug set animation that's going to be the ladybug left. I want it to go left. What if I'm going up? All right, I'm going to bring over a Set animation, and I want that to be ladybug up. Cool. Look. Look how I'm doing that. And then uh, for the last one, going down, this will be bug. Set the animation at ladybug down. Moment of truth. Run this right. Le oh, did you see it switch? Look at it switch back and forth, right and left, up and down. Look at that. It's working. It's working perfectly. Right, left, up, down. And it really does add. It looks a whole lot better when you get like an object or a character that is actually pointing in the direction that you're moving. It looks a lot better. Yay. Finish. That, my friends, is lesson 12.